Another day in paradise, another adventure. So we set off on a sailing trip never to be forgotten on a traditional Indonesian finisi. You can hire this beautiful sailing ship from the port and sail the islands around Flores. You can even have your own magical Titanic inspired moment. The Komodo National Park has a prehistoric history equally as fascinating as that of Flores. It's a World Heritage UNESCO protected national park that was established in 1980 and has been carefully protected by rangers for almost 40 years. The park is made up of 29 islands, but it's Rincha Island that we're headed to today. The park's entire biodiversity is fascinating and it's a chance to go back in time to a very different world. One dominated by the man-eating prehistoric giant lizard, the Komodo dragon. There are other terrestrial species on the island as well, like the Timor deer, which happens to be the main food source for the dragons. Komodo dragons usually live for up to 30 years and they are the largest species of lizard existing on the planet today. They grow up to three metres long and weigh up to 70 kilos. I've never seen anything quite like these guys. They are the number one top of line predator here. So you have to either go with a ranger or a guide who's qualified. When these guys take off, they can run at 18 kilometres an hour. All you have to do is be bitten. It doesn't matter if you escape, the teeth have this bacteria on there and within 24 hours you get blood poisoning and in a very short period of time after that they've hunted you down. They can smell blood from well over a couple of kilometres away. So they're great hunters. There are different treks you can do on Rincher and Komodo Islands depending on your time and physical condition and these include magnificent views across the islands. The giant lizards aren't the only draw card to the National Park. The stunning beauty of these islands will simply astound you. The protected area features coral reefs, mangroves and bays with more than a thousand different species of fish. There's whales and dolphins, manta rays. What more could you want right here? So we sailed out to Romantic Island where Captain Jack said we might see some manta rays. After a glorious voyage, Trevor loads up the dive gear and hits the water. The diving here is simply breathtaking. The underwater life includes over 70 species of marvellous sponges, anemones in every colour and shape, and the area is home to over 10 dolphin species, six whale species, and very friendly green turtles, including this one, who gets bored quickly, yawns, and dozes off. A bit further on and the water becomes very active, with plankton now obvious in the water and thousands of tiny coral fish feeding. We see our first manta ray and she's absolutely impressive at four metres wide. There are not many places on the planet where you can get up so close and personal to such a magnificent creature. She is fearless and she simply cruises by, feeding on microscopic plankton. My adrenaline goes up a notch as a huge black male and another female fly past at the same time, circling us without any fear. At this moment, I realise that this is the type of experience that you can have here every single day of the week. This is a wondrous place.